Howdy, y'all. Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Tascacita, Texas, with another lesson in algebra. And today we're going to talk about the order of operations. You will learn how to properly use the order of operations successfully. You'll need to know your math facts, such as add, subtract, multiply, and divide. You'll also need to know exponents. All right, what's the big deal? Why bother with the order of operations? We bother with operations because there needs to be a system. A system so everyone gets the same answer. Prior to the order of operations, people got different answers depending on the way they did the mathematics. So there had to be an agreement on what to do with the uh, operation. The first thing you need to remember in the order of operations is that you always read from left to right. If you're not sure what to do, read left to right. And then the first thing you do is do the parentheses or any other kind of symbol of inclusion, such as brackets or braces. Know your exponents and do your exponents next. So first parentheses, then exponents uh, or anything else to any other power. Then do your multiplication division from left to right and your addition and subtraction left to right. Always remember to read from left to right. PEMDAS. What does that mean? Well, PEMDAS is a nice way of remembering the order of operations. First there's parentheses, then exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Well, there's the P, the E, the M, the D, A, and S. PEMDAS. A good way to remember it. All right, let's look at an example. Quantity 10 plus 5 minus 6 times 3 plus 9. First thing we do is the parentheses. So we get 15 minus 6 times 3 plus 9. Next, we do the multiplication division. So negative 6 times 3 is negative 18. Then addition, subtraction, left to right. So 15 minus 18 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 9 is 6. Let's do another one. Exponents first. So 4 times 3 plus 2 plus negative 3 squared. Well the negative 3 squared is going to give us negative 27. Now we're going to do our multiplication division. So 4 times 3 is 12. Then addition and subtraction left to right. So 12 plus 2 is 14. And 14 minus 27 is negative 13. Another one. 13 minus 4 times negative 5 minus 3 times 10. First, we're going to do multiplication division because there are uh, no parentheses to say except uh, those indicating multiplication. And we get 13 plus 20 minus 30. Now remember, a negative times a negative is positive, And a negative times positive is negative. Then addition, subtraction. So 13 plus 20 is 33, and 33 minus 30 is 3. Let's do another one. 4 times the quantity, 3 plus 2, minus 5 times the quantity, 6 minus 3. Parentheses first. And so we get 4 times 5, minus 5 times 3. Now multiplication. 4 times 5 is 20. And negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Then we do our addition or subtraction, and we get 20 minus 15 is 5. All right, let's try another example. Start with the parentheses and etc. first. And this time you'll notice we have a lot more inclusion symbols. We have parentheses and uh, brackets and braces. And when this happens, we call that nesting. And nesting is when you just have a whole bunch of inclusion symbols, one inside the other. And we want to go ahead and just start on the inside and work your way outward. I'm going to start with negative 4 and I'm going to remove parentheses. Then the next thing I'm going to do is combine uh, the 3 and the 4 and the negative 3 and the 4. And then we're going to multiply and then we're going to take and combine again and negative 2 times negative 12 is 24. Recap. PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction, 
Know your order of operations. If you have any questions, send an email to mrkazi at mrkazi.com. And be sure to check out my other videos on my YouTube channel.